nobody asked for this, but you're going to get it anyway. Just thought I'd do a little track breakdown of um, my latest release, uh, Fake, which is out now on all streaming platforms. And I just wanted to kind of talk about how like simple this song was. I really went for the less is more approach. I used fewer elements with more intense, I guess, experimental effects styles. It's pretty aggressive, this song. But again, at its core, it's very, very simple. So obviously, you know, I had some drums in there, which sound like this. The, the snare is uh, three layered on top of each other. So all three layers sound like this, but individually they sound like this. Pretty simple stuff, um, just layered right and EQ'd ever so slightly. The hat sounds like this. And if you notice, it's got um, some considerable swing on that. The guts of the song, the main part of it, is an 808, a vocal, and one layer of synth and then there's kind of these filling bases and kind of effects the core of the song sounds like this so you can hear that it's very very distorted very crunchy um that was all on purpose again i wanted to be i wanted the song to be very very simple but like hitting and aggressive and you kind of have to go with the less is more approach if you want um you know something to sound listenable yet aggressive you know so i'll explain how this group works but i'll go through the, the parts individually because what it sounds like all together it sounds very different individually so the first part is literally just a sub bass it's already a very aggressive sub bass, but obviously it just becomes more and more aggressive with one, the layering, and two, the compressing slash clipping effects that I was using. That's the 808. This is the vocal underneath it all. And that's just a, a splice vocal that I really like. And this is the synth that's laid underneath. Now this is actually a rave generator synth. Shout out Lowdown for showing me rave generator. I fucking, I use it in everything, man. But yeah, so all those sound very different individually, but then you put them together in the group and it sounds like... You can kind of barely hear the vocal and the synth. Um, and that's by, that's all by design. And I'll explain how. Recently, well, semi-recently, I discovered this thing called Free Clip. Uh, this is a free free plugin, free effect. It essentially does like a simulated hard clipping. So this simulates the sound of things being too loud and distorting and rumbling in a way that usually is kind of detrimental to um, your track, your mix down, but when used creatively, sounds great. And I'm really loving this effect at the moment. It's just so dirty, it's so large, it somehow keeps the, the sub bass, the low end sounding really, really good, yet can clip and compress sounds together where they just sound really good to me anyway. So yeah, definitely check that one out, Free Clip. I'll go through some of the other sounds that I incorporated into the song. They're actually quite simple. They're just Reese basses with different levels of filtering and effects. And that's obviously just uh, a high pass filter kind of modulating down with a, with a, a Reese sound, lots of movement and some reverb. So that's more of a phasing Reese, and I've just panned it from right to left. That again is the same Reese as the So that's obviously a much more cleaner, less filtered, uh, still very, you know, distorted, compressed uh, Reese bass and a higher octave. Get that nice movement going. And then in the second, um, the second part of the drop, we have these laser sounds. And they're obviously pitch modulated to go up in a rising fashion. That is just a very, very quick um, serum preset. You know, detune the saws, modulate the uh, pitch decay. Here is a little, I guess, uh, cameo slash Easter egg from another one of my songs called Slow Fuck. If you've heard that song, you'll definitely recognize this sound here. That is just a very distorted, uh, overdriven drums part that I've kind of incorporated. Now, moving on to the second drop, what I did was, is I really pushed the free clip in, like, to the, to the, to its limits, to its absolute extreme. I tried to get as much distortion out of it while keeping the low end as, as possible, and it sounds like this. So, I don't know if you can hear, but that's considerably more distorted than the first drop, even though it's the same, same sound group. But what I've done is I've modulated the intensity here in just small intervals 
because, you know, I didn't want to destroy the sound completely. What actually ended up happening from this is something I didn't intend um, to happen, but because this is pretty much not supposed to be used like this, what's happened is this type of distortion, this type of clipping, it sounds different on all different speaker types. So what it sounds like here in my headphones will sound very, very different to anything you're listening on, whether it's another set of headphones, speakers, computer speakers, a big sound system. It all, it sounds different on everything, which I think is really interesting. And I'm gonna um, do another video on that, try to figure out how that works. But I mean, like if you guys wanna try it for yourself, play it on a few different speaker systems, hear like the subtle differences between all, all different speakers. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Well, I just thought that was very interesting. Coming towards the end of the song now, it's it plays out just the vocal. And you can probably hear that the sound is kind of deteriorating. It's glitching out, it's becoming more and more kind of distorted and, you know, confusing, I guess, to the ear. And that's all because of this. Mishpi. Mishpi is one of the best plugins I've ever picked up in my life. It's by a company called Freak Show Industries. They make amazing effects. Um, this is a kind of, yeah, it's kind of a glitch, uh, tape, distortion, VST. It's beautiful. Like the design is amazing. The effects you can get out of it are really good. It's almost impossible for me to kind of go through and explain this to you because that is by design the company they like to make this very very obscure very confusing almost random sound effects and stuff so if you get the time i definitely recommend you check this one out they have a very interesting uh marketing model as well you can buy this for say 50 dollars. i'm not sure exactly how much or they let you steal it they they just say here you can have it um i think they maybe believe in their product so much that they're confident you'll come back and buy it or buy an another one the next release which is exactly how it worked on me so yeah definitely head on over to freak show industries check out their plugins i have a few more like this they've just dropped a new one that i'm going to be checking out later today and there you have it um a track built solely around the less is more approach less elements more distortion one of my favorite tracks that i've i've worked on in a long time it's out now on all streaming platforms, so if you guys want to go and check it out, I'll be sure to send a link somewhere. But yeah, until then, uh, thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you later.